All right, Efren, thanks so much. Some members of the University of South Carolina's Greek Life aren't happy about a decision to build a parking lot instead of a garage that was promised. Now, during last Friday's Board of Trustees meeting, the university's architect announced the change of plans for the USC Greek Life parking. Uh, the plan said that because of other potential garages and the decreased amount of students bringing cars to campus, they've decided to go from a parking building to a surface lot instead. But what we are trying to achieve is about 300 spaces here. Needs to say surface parking is much, much cheaper than structured, structured parking by a factor of about five to one. You can do it parking space for three to four thousand dollars where it's a parking structure about 20 as a minimum but to get more spaces to the Greek what we're also looking at it in a master plan is to try to convert some of that commuter parking you see there to the right to also be accessible to the Greeks by building commuter parking elsewhere Student body president Luke Rankin told the board student parking for Greek Village is a nest is necessary and also noted that students have been paying increasing fees each year for what they thought was going to be a garage. Our Sydney Holdridge took a deeper dive today. At the University of South Carolina, there's been a lot of controversy lately involving students and Greek life and parking. So here's what we know. In 2016, the school announced plans to ease a parking shortage with a new parking garage for Greek students. A fee was then placed on students in sororities and fraternities that have houses in Greek Village. Why? Because the state and university says money for these projects must come from fees. The parking garage they were expecting to build like wasn't supposed to be done until like after like I graduated. I'm only a sophomore. They were charged $125 for the 2016-2017 school year per semester. The following year, the university raised it to $250. Then, in the 2018-2019 school year, the fee increased to $375. The thing is, it's not, it's not like a small fee that we're paying for this supposed Greek Village parking garage. It's like, it's hundreds of dollars that we're taking out of like our own bank accounts. The school has now announced they won't build the $36 million parking garage, which they already collected $7.5 million for. I mean, everyone's really frustrated. Instead, they'll build 800 parking spots and a lot on Divine Street. They say this is a cheaper and quicker solution, something students aren't happy about. It's kind of ridiculous that we pay it and we're not even going to be able to use it. They need to either refund us or put in what they had in place, what they were planning on and what they charged us for. We'll continue to keep you updated as soon as the university sends us more information. In Columbia, Sydney Holdridge, News 19, WLTX.